Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another great question, which, surprise, surprise, is another, it's not a debated topic. Um, and actually before I even get into it, I should say, you know, there are many different ways to have great skin. There's many different philosophies and everybody's, you know, basically has proven their track record uh, if they're a skincare professional talking about things. So even with what I say, as I've said previously, grain of salt. Um, probably a combination of a few different philosophies is what is going to work for you. Um, usually people's philosophies are tested on a group of people for me and my clients and I see what works for them, what works for me, and that's sort of where everything's based on. Anyway, so today's question, who should consider the double cleanse? How does one not strip their skin by cleansing twice? Why not just use a foaming cleanser and get it all done at once? Um, excellent question. So, double cleanse. First and foremost, never double cleanse in the morning. Unless you went to bed with your makeup on, and at that point, don't watch my channel. Um, so morning, one cleanse, please. No, 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 double cleanse. Um, evening. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily feel the need for somebody to make double cleansing in the evening a habit. Um, if you are wearing long wear, very strong, very hard to remove makeup, yeah, you're probably going to want a double cleanse. Um, if you're not wearing any makeup and just wearing an SPF, one cleanse, removing it with a warm wet washcloth is enough uh, and plenty. So that's sort of like a very straightforward, very general guideline for the double cleanse. Uh, with that being said, there's going to be a few different things because you can have, you know, I think everybody's interpretation of double cleanse is different. Some people are going to start with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and then go into a non-foaming gel cleanser. Fine. Some people consider that oily balm cleanse to be more of like a makeup removal cleanse. Um, so then with that, you could go in terms of the cleansing waters or you could do a separate makeup remover, a lightweight oil makeup remover, and then a really light gentle gel cleanser. So to me, that's more of like a makeup remover and then a cleanse and not necessarily a double cleanse. Um, if you were doing two really heavy rich balm cleansers with two washcloths and then a toner and then an exfoliant, Again, that's where I go into, people are probably going to notice redness, rawness, um, dehydration lines, those, those fine uh, dehydration lines, um, and that all can be from over cleansing and or over exfoliation, over exfoliating, over exfoliation, whatever. Anyway, um, so that's just something to keep an eye on uh, as you are doing that. So again, heavy, long wear makeup, yeah, you might want to double cleanse. Otherwise, there really isn't a need. Um, never do it in the morning. Never do it in the morning. If you were doing a double cleanse in the morning and a double cleanse in the evening, you are 100% over cleansing your skin, stripping your skin's barrier down, making your skin prone to dehydration, redness, sensitiv sensitivity, sensitivities. Um, so that's, that's where I would keep it. Makeup, heavy, double cleanse, no makeup, just an SPF, single cleanse, washcloth, great. Um, somewhere in between with a makeup remover and then a cleanser, great. Th that is the thing, there are so many products now, people are using toners, people are doing a double cleanse, people are using makeup removers, and, and so you only need a combination of a few of those. Uh, but I hope that helps. Um, I got wordy towards the end, surprise, surprise, but I wanted to make sure everybody understood. Everybody's going to have a different version of that too. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great summer. I think today in Seattle, surprising, compared, I swear every time I film now, it's gray and raining, and I believe it is um, 60 degrees. And it is also July 22nd. Gosh. Anyway, bye guys.